Welcome to this new video about mitral valve segmentation using Mitral Valve Navigator, an app of the QLab suite by Philips. The software is organized in an eight-step approach. First, the software automatically selects the ansystolic frame, but to be more precise, it is always recommended to review the selection in order to choose the frame just before the opening of the mitral valve. Then, it is time for the 3D volume alignment. Each colored panel corresponds to a plane cutting the 3D volume. Moving the cursor over each panel, a graphic representation of the correct alignment is shown. It is possible to obtain the correct orientation by dragging and spinning the planes in each panel. In the third step, the task is to place the reference points for the MV model as shown in the graphic representation. After the aortic point and the nadir placement, a first model of the valve is automatically computed. The annulus boundaries are manually refined, optimizing the position of six more couples of points in a correspondent number of rotational planes, one every 20 degrees, for a total of 16 annulus points. By clicking on this button, it is possible to magnify one of the panel for a better visualization of the valve. After completing this process, all the variables concerning annulus geometry are available. The fifth step is commissures editing. There is a problem here since the commissures aren't always easy to recognize. It is possible to scroll down up the image to guess their position. The leaflet editing consists in the adjustment of the automatically generated atrial surfaces of the leaflets. Holding the left click of the mouse and sliding over the leaflet profile, the green marks will move accordingly. This small red square is the coaptation point and if present should be adjusted before the surface. If the leaflets don't coapt, the surface can be split. Unfortunately, it is impossible to overlap the two leaflet surfaces. Then the leaflets are divided according to the Carpentier classification. The last step is to place the papillary muscle tips if feasible. In this case, we can only guess their position. This is the final result of the segmentation and these are all the variables that can be extracted by the model. For all of them, a graphic representation is available. A full list of the variables can be saved as an Excel file or the entire clip can be exported. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.